Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about three things to keep in mind when um, planning and designing your in-home lip and sip parties. So if you don't know a lip and sip is basically you try on lipstick while you sip wine or another beverage of your choice. So I have my setup behind me which if you haven't already seen that video um, I'll leave it linked below that I went through all the details of my setup and I also have it on a blog post but I have this video in a blog post as well so if you want to see this form this video in a written form be, be sure to click the link in the description box below but I thought I'd keep it really short and simple there's three things to keep in mind when designing your lip and sip especially for beginners the first one is to keep it simple our product speaks for itself it doesn't need a big wow moment it doesn't need you should do lots of planning and making things up because once people try it on, they will fall in love. And if they don't, maybe the product's not right for them. And that's why in-home parties are so great because people can try the product on and they can see it on and they can see the proof for themselves so that you don't have to um, sell it for them. They'll see it and they'll, it'll be sold. Well, that's the hope anyway. My second um, thing to keep in mind is to keep it cheap. Um, you don't need to spend a lot of money to make a party nice. Amazon Air Prime is perfect for that. You can get next day delivery, at least in the UK you can. Um, if not, there's Hobbycraft and other little shops like that. You can also make things yourself. So I have this bunting behind me, which you can just about see. But you could easily just buy craft paper and card and cut out triangles for yourself and put it on ribbon. Keep it simple. Keep it cheap. My third and final point is to keep it pretty. My branding is very feminine, it's pink with gold lips um, and it is quite pretty. I wanted to make my business a pretty business if that makes sense because it is a girly product and I wanted to keep it that girly pretty sense around the whole thing. So I've kept my colour scheme to match my business which is pink, white and gold and I don't know if you can tell but the tablecloth is pink and my decorations are pink, white and gold and everything else is pink, white and gold. So make it consistent, but my other one was pretty. I just think pretty sells. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it, I hope you found it useful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you next time, bye.